I'm going to skip kanji check because you knew that kanji pretty well. Can you read this word up here for me? Hi. Do you know what this means? When stir up. Mm. So let's start with fuki. fuku. You know what that means? Kazega fuku. The, the wind blows. Perfect. The wind blows. Adidu is um uh, means violent. So this means the wind blows violently. Um can you read this sentence from a previous page? Machitsushi no shigata. Good guess. Sugata. Sugata ga. Dan dan kiete iku. Perfect. What does this mean? The magician, the form of the magician, his shape, his, his sight. Basically, what you can see of the dan, magician. Dan kie. Mm -hmm. It's disappear. Hi, hi, hi. Bit by bit. Perfect. Bit by bit. So this is Fuki Adedu with the kanji on Adedu. Do you remember what I told you this Adedu meant? This is to blow what? To blow violently. Hi, violently. And that's actually this new word that we're going to be learning. What's this violent, ruinish kanji? Adedu. Hi, Adedu. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Arehateru. Perfect. Arehateru is our new verb that means to fall into ruin. And it is a new verb. How do you put arehateru into ta form? Arehateru. Ta form, but yes. Arehateta. And what did that mean? Had fallen. Into ruin. Hi, to fall into ruin. Perfect. You want to read this guy from a while ago? Wurumetto kara. Hmm. Talking about something that happened to Nebody long, long ago. Wurumetto kara. Sent away. Hi, hi. Exile. It does Sorry. mean exile. Tuiho is how you say it. Wurumetto kara. Tuiho sare. I was exiled from Wurumetto. And I'm, uh, can you read this for me? Suihogo. Perfect. What do you think this means? The, the period of exile. After Close. being exiled. Yes. Yeah. So after being exiled. Perfect. Um, so this tuiho, what did it end with? I mean, after exile? Go. Hi, tuiho go. Perfect. Suiho. Can you read this example sentence? Suiho go, machi o miru to machi no sanaka wa arehatte ta. Hi, sadly, sanaka is actually incredibly not similar to what that word means. Sanaka. Can, sanaka. Sanaka is like stomach, I feel like. Or or maybe like fish, like sakana. Same? Fish is sakana. Sakana. Sanaka. What could be sanaka? Um anyway, this is su ga ta. It's funny because this is like weirdly similar while not being similar. Sanaka sugata. Sugata. Hi, hi. Tsukata. After exile, machi o miruto. I saw the town. Hi. And what did I see? Machi no sugata. Sugata, hi. The appearance of the town. Are hatata. Following it to ruin. Perfect. Nice. This right here is 
uturu, which is a u verb. So r plus u. Uturu is to reflect. So you'll see this kanji in eiga. Do you know what an eiga is? Eiga is a movie. So, so, movie. So the A from eiga is uturu. What is the top form of uturu? It's, it's, uh, no, no, no. That would be passive it's form. Da. Yeah. Perfect. It's da. A, lot of it's a nice little glass stop. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Matino. Sukana. Sukana. Sadly, not a na here. Do you have a second guess? Suga. Hmm. Does have an A sound. Not an N sound though. Suga. Hmm. Sugata. Hey, Sugata. Machi no Sugata ga me ni utsuta. Okay. What do you think this means? It's it's a is to project, right? Hi. To project onto. Hi. Or to reflect on. To project. Uh, Both meanings. Reflect onto the eye. So so, what is reflected onto the eye? The appearance of the. So town. so, the town, the appearance of the so town. The... Do you know what hedu means with this kanji? It has to do with it's time. Like on. It actually means the past time. Heru. And this is a do verb. What is the top form of this to past time verb? The top form. I don't know what I said earlier. Heta. Yeah, heta. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Say it was whole so oh, I did have whole over here. Sadly, this is chi. So you're really close. You had like kind of mixed up whole to to, but it's actually chi whole. What's the last go? Hi, chi whole go. No, nichi. 